Hi, I'm your Minna Van Dyken, MD. I'm a surgeon by trade, but my true passion is helping people like you obtain optimum health by adopting a whole foods, plant-based lifestyle. Curcumin, or curcumin, the hydrophobic polyphenol miracle compound derived from the plant Curcuma longa, or the turmeric plant, has a wide spectrum of biological and pharmacological activities. Traditionally, turmeric has been used for many ailments, and curcumin, the ingredient in turmeric, has been shown to exhibit antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, and anti-carcinogenic activities. Curcumin has a diverse range of molecular targets like transcription factors, growth factors in their receptors, inflammatory cytokines, enzymes, and genes regulating cell proliferation and apoptosis, or programmed cell death. It's also been shown to be safe, even at high doses of up to 12 grams per day in some studies. The pharmacological safety and efficacy of curcumin makes it a potential compound for the treatment and prevention of a wide variety of human diseases. In spite of its efficacy and safety, curcumin has not yet been approved as a therapeutic agent, and the relative bioavailability of curcumin has been highlighted as a major problem for this. Evidence from many studies reveals that curcumin has poor absorption, poor biodistribution, poor metabolism, and poor bioavailability. Curcumin, you see, is not water-soluble, so it's not easily absorbed by the body. It's also readily metabolized by the liver and intestines by a process called glucuronidation. What can we do to make our curcumin more readily absorbed? Two things, actually. One, add a little black pepper, and two, eat something fatty along with it, like nuts or avocado. Black pepper contains a compound called piperine. This compound has been shown to increase the bioavailability up to 2,000%. One study took six healthy male volunteers and gave them two grams of curcumin, both with and without five milligrams of piperine. Blood samples revealed a much higher absorption of the curcumin when the piperine was added. Why is this? What's so magical about black pepper? Well, Curcumin is rapidly taken up by the liver and broken down in a process called glucuronidation. Piperine is a well-known inhibitor of the liver and intestinal glucuronidation process. When ingested with curcumin, it's preferentially taken up by the liver, allowing curcumin to not be metabolized and thereby maintains higher tissue concentrations for longer. So how much black pepper do you need to eat along with your turmeric in order to get this effect? Ah, just one-eighth of a teaspoon. Just a little sprinkle on some salad. A different study revealed turmeric oil also enhances the bioavailability of curcumin by seven to eight times. This suggests that eating your curcumin with a small amount of healthy plant-based fat will increase your absorption. A good way to do this is to combine turmeric with avocado. Maybe sprinkle some on top along with black pepper. Or Make Russell's amazing taco cheese sauce with nuts, turmeric, and pepper. I promise you the recipe video on that is coming once our kitchen remodel is complete. Beyond this, scientists are frantically working on new ways to deliver curcumin and developing methods resulting in excellent bioavailability and predictable curcumin delivery. Some of these methods of delivery that are being developed are nanoparticles, liposomes, micelles, lipid complexes, analogs, and collation with metals. This concludes all of the super useful information I have for you today, folks. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something valuable and applicable to your individual health journey. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to show us some real support, hit that subscribe button. We love hearing from you, so please comment below with your thoughts and questions on the material covered in this video. And let us know what health topics you want to learn about so we can cover them. Thanks again for watching, guys. Until next time, aloha.